Big Willie Styles is off to an amazing start, and the 27-year-old just keeps driving up the price to keep him with his play. I didn't quite have time to paint my face yellow and blue for this week's edition of the Sportsnet Power Rankings, but this week, we are all about Sweden. From Thursday through Sunday, the NHL Global Series will see one game played in Stockholm as the Toronto Maple Leafs, Ottawa Senators, Detroit Red Wings, and Minnesota Wild head overseas to put on a show. Sweden is obviously an elite hockey nation and has a proud past and present in the NHL. Of course, with the Leafs being one of the teams in that country right now, the first Swede we have to talk about is William Nylander. Big Willie Styles is off to an amazing start and can extend his franchise record on Friday if he can manage a point in his 16th straight game to start the season. Number 88 already has 10 goals on the year meaning he could blow past the career-high 40 he put up last season. Everything Nylander does comes against the backdrop of his UFA status next summer, and the 27-year-old just keeps driving up the price to keep him with his play. Barely anybody in the league is scoring at a higher clip than Nylander right now, but one player who might actually be having a slightly better season is fellow Swede Elias Pettersson. Like Willie, Petey set a PB with 102 points last year, and like Nylander, he could blow past that mark this season. And oh yeah, like his Toronto counterpart, Pedersen also needs a new contract next summer. Pedersen's situation is slightly less urgent because he's only eligible to become a restricted free agent at season's end. But you could still easily argue the two biggest contract subplots in Canada, maybe even the entire NHL, focus on this pair of Swedes. Now one Swede with zero contract drama right now is Jesper Bratt. Unlike Nylander and Pedersen, both top 10 draft picks, Bratt went way down in the sixth round and has proven to be an absolute gem for the Devils. He signed an eight year, $63 million pact with the Devils this past summer and is already proving to be a bargain with 20 points in 14 games. The historical impact of Swedes in the NHL is enormous. Warrior Solming was a trailblazer. Matt Sundin was the first European selected first overall in the entry draft. Nick Lidstrom, the first European Conn Smythe winner and first Euro to captain a team to a Stanley Cup championship. Heck, we just saw Henrik Lundqvist looking stylish as ever, enshrined in the Hockey Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility. Now, Nylander and Pedersen, maybe even Brett, may one day be thought of in the same vein as those players. But if there's a couple guys who will push for spots on the Swedish Mount Rushmore the day they retire, it's D-men Eric Carlson and Victor Hedman. Carlson just registered the first 100-point season we've seen by a defenseman in 30 years, and he's a three-time Norris Trophy winner, something only nine guys in the history of the league can say. Hedman, meanwhile, has both a Norris and Conn Smythe Trophy on his resume as a two-time cup champ with Tampa Bay. The big man turns 33 in December, but he's showing no signs of slowing down with 17 points and 16 outings so far this season. Now let's get a look at the full ranking. Let's give a shout to the Panthers, way up in the ranking this week because they've done a great job staying afloat without top D-men Aaron Ekblad and Brandon Montour. Nice job by the Penguins steadying the ship after a tough start. They might even be a top 10 team by next week. The Flyers are hanging tough early in the season. They've won three straight and are up four spots in the ranking. Man, do the Wild need a winning weekend in Sweden. They have plummeted down the ranking. Okay, I'm Ryan Dixon. That's all the time we have right now, but throw on some Ace of Base, cook up some meatballs, and enjoy daytime hockey from Sweden all weekend long. And of course, check back here all season long for the Sportsnet Power Rankings. <laughs>